Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, update. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading. Uh, obviously I've been busy with college and just and uh, life and stuff. Anyway, I'm back uploading. And thank you for 90 subscribers. It means the world to me. Um, let's try and get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, I think we could do it. We need 10 more subscribers. We should get that. Or... If not, we could try next year, and then next year I've got some significant plans for the channel, so stay tuned for that. By, I reckon by September, I'm going to, I'm going to change my whole setup of how I record and everything else, so I just hope you guys can um, wait until September, because I've got some big, big plans for my YouTube channel coming up, so... I need to improve the quality of what I do, um, my recordings and stuff like that. So anyway, I uh, get into the video. So basically, um, we've got uh, welcome back to another update, and we basically got another. We got another area of interest that we have to watch out in the Atlantic, guys. Uh, a forty percent chance formation. Um, do I think it's going to do something? Yes, I think this system will form. Now, uh. Now, usually, I would say it won't, or it might. Now, the, okay, there is a lot of dry air over in this general area, and there's and the wind shear is pretty strong over here as well, but that wind shear is meant to subside as there's a trough coming down from the US, which will pick this up towards the northeast, which should take it out somewhere over here, but they want to track it, like this, and move out towards the open ocean, which it will be a weird track, because we haven't saw that kind of track for, we haven't seen that kind of track before, now if it does this, and gets close to the US seaboard, but doesn't make landfall by the US seaboard, that trough that's over here, will pick the system up, and move it in this general area here, now, whether it will um, impact the U.S. seaboard, we, we don't know. Now, the model runs doesn't want it to impact the U.S. seaboard. It wants it to do this and then just move out towards the open ocean, which I get. I get it's gonna. I get it wants to impact the Bahamas and uh, and Haiti or Dominican Republic. But if it does this, I think it's gonna move more towards the Dominican Republic because the, the Dominican Republic can recover. From these type of systems, Haiti can't. The last time Haiti has had a major hurricane was back in Ma um, Matthew, back in 2016, when it kept when it went like this and up the U.S. seaboard like that. This is what Michael did because Michael went like this. Michael basically went like this. It's. It formed over here, basically. So Michael went like this. It pretty much went like this. N near Florida, and then did a loop around. I think made landfall. I think, or it must have went like this and just grazed the coast and just moved out. Now, do I think this storm will do that potentially? Potentially, I think this storm will probably do this more and then move out towards the open ocean like that. Now, if it does this, it will have more time over water when it gets over the Bahamas. But at this point, the wind shear will be very strong over here, which will it will shear the it will shear the system to bits. Now, if it does go like this and move towards more towards south and move out, it will probably avoid that wind shear that's over here and just narrowly move towards the or south. But if it's but if it makes if it goes like this and moves in this general weaker scenario, like the ECMWF is, like the European model showing, and does this, it could re intensify a little bit when it gets here, but when it gets up here, obviously. The wind shear will destroy it. But I think I think it's um, going to do this in this general scenario and then just move out towards the open ocean. That's what I think is going to happen. 
Now we do have another. We do have some more areas of interest. We've got um, we've got this area of interest there, ninety one E. We've also got this area of interest here. Um, this one is uh, invest ninety one E, a broad area of low pressure located more than one thousand miles southwest of the tip of Baja California Peninsula. It's producing disorganized showers. Shower activity, environmental conditions appear gradually conducive for the gradual development of the system, and a and a move and moves westward at fifteen miles an hour. This system expected to move into the Central Pacific Basin by the end of next week, and they've downgraded this a little bit um, uh, from a six from a seventy percent chance. Uh, from a seventy to th from a seventy thirty chance to a sixty twenty chance, um, of formation, they do expect a tropical depression to form. Now, with this area though, um, central east Pacific, a weak area of low pressure has formed about one thousand miles southwest of the southern tip of the coast of Me of the coast of Mexico. Some sort of development is possible during the next three to four days while the low slowly slowly to the west northwest by the end of next week. However, stronger per level winds should end the chances of, of development. By the stronger per level winds I mean the stronger per level winds are about uh, here so if this system really wants to form, it's probably going to have to form up here. But I don't think this system will form anyway. Anyway, I'll show you the tropical. I'll show you tropical tidbits now. See what tropical tidbits are saying. By the way, we do have Tremi Congre out there right now, which is seventy miles an hour, and I believe it's going to become a major hot typhoon. I'll do an update on this tomorrow because, I mean. It's meant it be impacting Taiwan again. Now Taiwan does not need another typhoon. They already went through Guiami early um, earlier on this season. They don't need another typhoon. But don't forget, Guiami came from over here, went like this, did a loop loop, and then went like this, and then moved in towards China. Now this system might not do that. This system won't do that for sure. It will roughly just go through to Taiwan and then move out towards the open ocean and head towards, probably head towards Japan and South Korea. So at the end of the cone, you guys need to watch out because it could it could generally just move to cone, just moving like this. It could just move like that. It could move a little bit north. It could move a little bit south. It could go northeast and hit Pyong and hit the. And hit North Korea, it could move south and go and stay over water for a lot longer and intensify a little bit. Or, or generally, this system could just move to more towards the east a little bit and then put more of this area in the cone. Now, if this system does hypothetically move towards the east a little bit more, that means then this bit will all be in the cone anyway. Again, so the modern ones do want this to become a powerful typhoon. Some of the modern ones want this to become a powerful typhoon. Um, satellite imagery shows it that Congre looks to be rapidly intensifying right now. I don't think it is, but it could be. We've got Invest 91E. And by the way, you see what I mean by Invest 91E. This looks better yesterday. Uh, I'll show you the forecast model on zone. Um, um, we could basically it could try and develop. A, they want it to develop a, a lot later than usual. I don't have it as strong as what they have it, but this is the strongest scenario. Uh, if you look on the latest runs, they do. They don't want this act to actually form until November second. Now, if you look at the ECMWF, they don't want this system to form at all. Look, they they've significantly backed off from this system. They do want a little 
um, non-tropical low uh, in the North Atlantic. But other than that, I mean, the European model don't really want anything in the Atlantic. Uh, but if you look back at the old model runs um, on the, I think it was a Zero Z model run on on Monday. Um, yeah, uh, they do, they, they did want this system to form, but as you can see, it was the more weaker scenario as it heads towards this bit here. It's the weaker scenario as it heads towards, um, in that weaker scenario that I told you about, where it just moves like this, and just completes and die off. Now, the GFS wants it differently. This is what the Zero Z model one was saying. <clears throat> they wanted it to form a lot more earlier than anticipated it. And they wanted it to become a, a powerful storm. Uh, now that was the 12, that's the 12 Z. And the Zero Z model one, they wanted it to become a 974 millibar. You see how you see how the trends, they wanted it to go like this. Now they want it to move further out like that. So, don't know. It could, this system could rapidly intensify. It might not rapidly intensify. We don't know for sure. The modern ones do want this system to form, though. Um, but, yeah, we have to keep an eye on it for sure. Um, could it form? Maybe. Could, could it not form? Maybe not. We don't know. We have to keep an eye on it for sure. Definitely 100%. Do I think it's going to become a major hurricane? I mean, yeah. I mean, have you have you seen how warm the waters are? Uh, 961 millibars. That's a like borderline cat. Uh, 956. That's like a cat three. You see how warm the waters are in the Caribbean, especially in this part of the Caribbean here. This part of the Caribbean is so warm. That at any major hole, any storm that goes over there will just explode or rapidly to find the conditions are good enough. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was good. just a quick update um, on the tropics. We do have um, tropical storm um, typhoon, I think it is now, Kong Ray. Um, it's looking very good, actually. I think it's trying to get an eye open. I'm not sure unless it's dry air, which is infiltrating into the system, which it could possibly be dry air, or it could be a little bit of wind shear trying to um, get into the system for sure. But otherwise, you know, you've got some good inflow bands. You've got some good outflow bands from the system. Um, so, yeah, you know, the system's breathing well. So, yeah, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Have a good day.